This is my video over the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex enzyme. There's a question about this on the test, and very often students get it wrong, so I wanted to explain what I'm looking for. So what this picture shows you is all the coenzymes and the three sub subunits for the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex or the PDH enzyme. So typically what the question will ask you is to explain the importance of the enzyme. And the importance of this enzyme is it produces acetyl-CoA, which is the first um, reactant for the citric cycle, citric cycle. So it's very important in order to produce energy in your body. And how it works is it takes these three subunits and a variety of coenzymes. The coenzyme, there are five different ones. And they are TPP, which stands for thymine pyrophosphate, lipoamide, um, coenzyme A, which we'll write like that, and then FAD and NAD+. Plus. Let me just slide that up so you can see them all. So in this question, you will have to explain the or identify the names of some of the coenzymes potentially and then you'll have to explain the role of the coenzymes so the role of the coenzymes is illustrated in this diagram so i'll just walk you through it quickly here's the substrate pyruvate and then another co-substrate is this coenzyme a which is over here and i'm just going to put the sh here just so it looks more like what i have written down Pyruvate will donate its acetyl group, which is the part in red, to TPP. The active part of TPP is shown here. So this acetyl group becomes a um, hydroxylated group, and it gets grabbed by the TPP, whereas the rest of the pyruvate goes away as CO2. The TPP then will hand off this hydroxylated um, carbon unit to lipoamide, which is right here, it's a disulfide compound. And when it does that, um, it reduces this and oxidizes the hydroxyl. So you get it back to the acetyl group. So TPP's role is to carry the acetyl group from pyruvate to lipoamide. Lipoamide carries it to the part of the enzyme on E2 where it can interact with coenzyme A. The acetyl group at this point is transferred to coenzyme A and makes acetyl-CoA. So lipoamide's role is to carry the hydroxylated, which turns into an acetyl, acetyl group, to coenzyme A. And then that um, product is released. So that's TPP, lipoamide, and coenzyme A. That's the roles of those three. The last two coenzymes are shown here, FAD and NAD+. So the role of FAD, is it will get reduced to FADH2, and when it does that, it oxidizes the um, dihydrolipoamide, which is the end product of releasing the acetyl group in this step, back to the disulfide form, so it can go on and do another round of catalysis. So FAD's role is to reoxidize the two thiol groups from the dihydro lipoamide or the lipoamide. So once that happens, FADH2 is now in the reduced form. NAD plus comes in, reoxidizes this to FAD. So then this is ready to do its reaction again through another cycle of the enzyme. And then NAD plus floats away and a new NAD plus comes in for the next round. So FAD and NAD plus are actually not directly involved in this catalysis. They are there to reestablish re the disulfide bond so this can do another round of catalysis. That's essentially what they do. So when I ask for roles, that's what I mean. You have to specifically explain what they do in the reaction, not just say they're a coenzyme for the reaction or they're essential for the reaction. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.